Welcome everybody to another edition of Dan's Grand Valley Railroad. A sad day here in the valley. Um, we had to return the BLI 280 consolidation steam locomotive. Uh, it had a, a fatal flaw with it and uh, I want to thank right now Tyler over at uh, Lackawanna Rail Fan. I will uh, link to his uh, page right up here. Uh, and then another viewer named Dad Cook, who uh, pointed out right away when I posted my video last week that there was a problem with the left-hand crosshead uh, part of the mechanism that uh, goes back and forth on the steam, you know, drivers. And uh, I was it turned out I didn't, you know, I didn't see it until those guys uh, told me about it, and uh, I snapped it back together it looked fine i put it in place but as uh i ran it and ran it it kept coming out and becoming more and more of a problem it was catching on uh re-railers right here it was catching on the cross tracks it was causing a lot of problems so uh, no matter how many times i put it back it would come back out so I decided uh, about midweek that I needed to return the locomotive, which I did yesterday. So I'm uh, not sure what I'm going to do about steam on this uh, layout. I'm kind of caught. I mean, they are so expensive. Uh, the, the 280 did handle the 18-inch curbs okay. Uh, it did have a few problems, like I pointed out uh, on some of my areas. But uh, I'm not sure if that was due to that crosshead uh, coming loose and hitting on things or not. As you can see, my, uh, my GP38-2s sure handle this well. Uh, they're pretty forgiving. There's a couple areas in the tunnels that uh, are a problem sometimes, but these seem to just handle it. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go steam or not. Maybe if the right thing comes along, uh, some smaller locomotive that I can play around with that handles the layout well, then yeah, maybe I will. But uh, let me uh, show you a couple of videos and some pictures that I took of the problem, uh, and then we'll uh, uh, do some other stuff uh, today. So check this out. All right, so here you can see the uh, crosshead flopping around. It's not tracking at all on the rail that it's supposed to be. Here in reverse, you can see how low it gets and how it's just flopping. This is the other side where it is correct and it's riding on the rail perfectly. This picture is the good side. You can see how everything's in line and this is the side that was bent and not tracking at all. So that was the problem. All right, we're going to take this over to the bench. Uh, this is my uh, CP rail box car. We're gonna put a brake wheel on it. Remember I picked some up last week all right so over here on the bench uh, i've taken the box car and uh, taken a pin vise with a real tiny little drill now i don't have a good set of tiny drills i have really super tiny and then i've got this one that's small but it's not you know in comparison so i think i'm going to invest in a really nice set of small drill bits but this is where it comes in handy Look at the the uh, the spot here where it was broken off, and I wanted to just clear that hole out so that the stem from the old wheel wasn't in there. So I just took my drill on the pin vise and just went in there and just cleared it out real good. Make sure I got anything out of there that uh, would prevent that from from sticking in there nicely. I also took my X-Acto knife and just made sure that the hole was clear like that. And I also trimmed off, there was a little bit of glue. So I just trimmed off the glue with the X-Acto knife. And I took the wheel out of the package. Remember last week I got a package of them and I took one out and I noticed on it that the shaft had some extra uh, plastic on there. So I used my sprue cutter 
and I just trim that off just a nice flat spot. So now we're gonna just fit it on there and make sure it fits well. Let me uh, put my magnifiers on so I can see what I'm doing. All right, I don't know if you can see that, but I got it to fit in the hole pretty nicely. I'm going to use some uh, CA extra thick glue, uh, so super glue, extra thick, and uh, dab a little bit on there and stick that in and we should be good to go. All right, I've got it glued in there with the super glue. I'm just letting it set real good and I'm just making sure it's even all the way around. Some of the plastic broke out on me a little bit. This is a very old car, it's a very brittle, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'm probably gonna weather this car anyway, but uh, I've got it on there. There we go, you can see it. Looks pretty good. So we'll just set that aside and let that dry. So while that's drying over there, I wanna show you what I picked up at Harbor Freight uh, yesterday. When I took the locomotive back, I swung by uh, Harbor Freight that was over there and I grabbed the their deluxe uh, airbrush kit. It's, uh, uh, let's see, it was $20, 19 something. Comes with a, uh, a cup, a bottle, a wrench, some kind of clip holder, and then a two-stage uh, airbrush. Let me uh, pop this end off. Let's see if I can do it. It's got a cover. In it. So there's the airbrush tip and it's got a two stage. So this pulls back and allows more or less paint to flow. And then this, of course, pressing down is the spray action. So I thought for my very first uh, airbrush attempt, I would get something that's not too expensive. If I like it, if it works for me, I'll pick up one that's a little bit better. I also got a... Uh, airbrush cleaning bottle, which will be nice down here in the basement to uh, clean it out without putting that all in the air. So uh, got that. And then let's go over here. I also needed to pick up a an air hose. And then so yesterday I had to go to Lowe's and get something that went from quarter inch uh, male iron pipe to quarter inch compression because uh, the air compressor didn't have that on it. It was different. So but I've got that and I've got an air hose. So this is a compressor I've had for quite a few years. A uh, good friend of mine gave it to me and it works really well. So we'll be using that for the uh, airbrush. So a couple other projects that I have planned uh, coming up soon is, uh, remember I told you last video, I've got this uh, building kit, which is the same as this one here. It's the uh, post office. This one calls it Kelly's Saloon, but it's the same building. And I want to build this one to build this roomettes uh, kit that I got. Uh, so it, it fits for that building and I want to build them as one. So we can go through with uh, building the the building, planning on using the roomette. Uh, as I mentioned last week on this one, uh, let me grab it. I, I didn't plan on it. So it has window shades in the windows. It's got uh, some black cardboard that I put in to divide the rooms up. And I kind of want to leave this alone. It's, uh, it's a bit weathered looks pretty good and it fits well on the layout. So uh, I'm not sure where we'll put the new one. I don't have a whole lot of room. We might be able to consolidate something down a little bit or maybe utilize it somewhere else, but uh, we'll just go through it for the fun of building it for right now. Uh, another uh, thing I wanna do is I sure like the way that these weathered boxcars look on the layout. Uh, remember, we went through weathering this one, and we did the reefer cars, and here's the one that I painted the inside black to dull it down a little bit. Uh, I have not yet, or uh, maybe I did spray uh, some dull coat on there, but I want to weather it out like this to make a match. Um, I want, and uh, let's see, I've got a 
a 40 foot box car. That's the Accurail box car that uh, I really like. And we're gonna weather that out a little bit more. Um, so that'll be a, a couple of future projects that we'll be doing. And I also wanna do a, an operations video where we'll switch out one of these box cars uh, on my industries here. We'll do a little uh, switching exercise with the, uh, the Broadway Limited switcher I have. And uh, that'll be a fun little project to do. All right, well, that's all we have time for this week. I just wanted to bring you guys uh, up to speed with uh, me having to return that uh, darn Broadway Limited uh, steam engine. Uh, kind of sad about that, but uh, whatever. We'll uh, figure something out down the line. want to thank you to all you new subscribers and everybody who uh, returns and watches my videos, comments, and uh, gives me thumbs up. I sure appreciate it. Uh, we're up to uh, 387 this week. It's amazing, blows my mind every time. Uh, so uh, thank you once again. And uh, just a reminder, I have a Teespring account. I've got some mugs and t-shirts and things up there. So uh, be sure to uh, go check it out if uh, you'd like to check out some of my uh, merchandise. So uh, with that being said, thank you so much, everybody. Really, really appreciate uh, everything. And we'll see you next update. Take care.